Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today's reading will be a soul connection reading. So I'm using my Transcendent Love Oracle. I created this deck because I couldn't really find a deck that uh, really resonated for me on my journey. There's a lot of great decks out there and I, I have quite a few decks, but there wasn't one specific deck where the full thing resonated. I would just get a couple here cards here and there in other decks. And I've seen other creators on YouTube create their own decks and I thought that was just a cool idea. So let's see what energies are currently influencing uh, this connection. So I pre-shuffled my decks already. So we're just going to pull some cards. Okay, so we currently have winter. This is the surrounding energy or influence so where I am we're in winter the season we're in is winter now winter is also related to a time of a period of rest so it could be the two of you are in a resting state at this time so I'm just gonna get these out of the way and we're gonna go into the tarot and we're gonna see your person's past energy towards you. And if I happen to see any other messages come up as I go along, I may get back to winter. But for me, winter is all about resting, hibernation, really taking some time out to grow. Okay, so your person's past energy towards you. We have the Knight of Cups. So they could have really wanted to put in an effort with, with you in the past. They could have felt this connection automatically and really wanted to express their emotions to you. They could have been a little shy and perhaps didn't know how to give you that cup of love, but they were willing to offer it to you. So let's see your past energy towards your person. Ooh. <laughs> so we have the five of pentacles. So that's interesting. So we have somebody here that wants to express emotions and you were feeling a sense of loss so an abandonment in the past it could have been hmm you could have been dealing with some other sort of experience at the time where you were focusing on something you had lost so you weren't really accepting your person's offering. See, we see here, these people aren't facing this night here. They're turned away. So it could have been they were wanting to offer you their cup, their support, um, and really connect with you, but you weren't really feeling it at that time. You were focusing on your loss at that moment. So let's see your person's current energy towards you. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, so the Ten of Swords is usually a card about betrayal. We have it in reverse here. So your person could be doing a lot of purging from any um, past hurts or resentments that they have had. And they're really trying to transform their lives and be a healthier better person so let's see your current energy towards them okay so we have temperance in reverse so you're feeling uh out of balance with this connection and very impatient it could be whatever this was that your person had to deal with. It's 
left you feeling impatient, like you don't want to wait around for whatever it is they're dealing with. So let's see what this uh, Ten of Swords has to do with. What does this Ten of Swords in reverse have to do with? Okay, so we have the Six six of Swords. So, yeah, they're definitely letting go of any past hurts or betrayals. So they are really trying to grow as a person and let go of any any old wounds and traumas, anything that's coming up for them. They're really trying to move on from that. Okay. And why are you getting impatient? Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands here. So you really, you're getting impatient because you want, you want this to move forward. It may not be moving at a pace that you um, imagined. So now you're starting to get impatient. And this really reminds me, I think it was yesterday's reading. A lot of these cards came up. I could be mistaken, but this, this message seems very familiar to me. So let's see any current challenges or lessons you guys are facing. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So it could be a challenge here is getting your head out of the cloud and refocusing on um, your goals. Could Now, this could be related to both of you or one of you. Maybe there was too much time fantasizing and now it's time for you to really bring yourself back from fantasy and start putting some effort forward into your goals and your life. So I want to see, hmm, I want to see what the Seven of Cups is, what is the Seven of Cups about? Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups here. So, yeah, my first message about um, really focusing on yourself. So, it's time for you to get out of fantasy land and really start focusing on filling up your own cup and not worrying about anybody else's cup. It's time to focus on yourself and start working on making your life better. It's nice to get caught up in um, dreams and fantasies at times, but when we do that, we forget about taking care of ourselves and our needs. So let's see how the divine is assisting you and your connection currently. Okay, so we have the justice card. Okay, so the Divine is really trying to help you restore balance in your life. Whereas uh, getting in a fantasy land and focusing on filling up your own cup. It's about um, grounding and also taking accountability for your actions. So we can't really blame anybody else for us getting caught up in delusions or fantasy land and not not delusions as in um you wanting a connection or desiring a connection with another is delusional but sometimes there's an unhealthy um attachment when it comes to fantasies so we need to restore balance at times and bring ourselves back. So what are some next steps you can take during this challenge? Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. 
So the Nine of Pentacles is really is really about focusing on tending to your own garden and taking care of your needs. We have the Ace of Cups there behind this. Let me just bring that out. So we have the Ace of Cups behind this, which is all about filling up your own cup of love and really taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is also about indulging yourself and really taking care of yourself. It could be your finances or uh, your physical world, um, taking care of your house, taking care of uh, family so there's the inner with the emotions and then we have the outer with the Pentacles another message I'm seeing here is that when we t take care of ourselves and fill up our own cup we see the results in our physical world so um, as above so below as within so without so our inner world is reflected in our outer world let's see if there's anything currently keeping you stuck from attaining this um nine of pentacles here now the ten of pentacles is total um completion when it comes to our physical world so we have the three of wands so this is what may be preventing you from moving forward at this time sorry I just bumped my camera so the three of wands is all about progression and persistence so it may be that um, there could be See, he's looking off into the distance here. So, this may be related to looking too far ahead. I'm seeing this as a looking more towards the future rather than focusing on right now. But we are going to see what other messages come up with this. So we have the Five of Cups in reverse. There could be a need for somebody here to walk away from any fantasies or visions they may have had for the future. Um, there may be some some goals that they have had and maybe now is not the right time so they have to walk away from that currently it doesn't it doesn't mean that you can't achieve it it just may mean that currently now is not the right time or maybe you're placing too much attention on that goal and you may need to just take a step back and just walk away and focus on other things in the moment. So let's see any possible outcomes between this connection and then I may grab some messages if I can find my deck. If not, we'll see. If I can't find my deck, then it wasn't meant to be. So let's see. What is the possible outcome for this connection? Okay. <laughs> so we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Sorry, I just bumped that again. So the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody who... Somebody here may be a perfectionist. And currently with this card, I am not seeing um, the two of you connecting on a, on a deep level. Oh, that sucks that I say that. I'm sorry. Um, 
but this uh, Eight of Pentacles is also somebody who's impatient. So somebody here is is getting impatient. So the outcome is. Uh, let's get another card to see why is why is impatience or why is the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. Okay, so we have strength in reverse. So could be that this is taking a lot of effort and somebody just doesn't have the strength and the energy to put effort into this connection. They may be feeling it's too impatient waiting on this. So um, that's where this taking care of yourself and filling up your own cup comes in. So. Based on this reading, the outcome is, it seems like it's stuck and it's, it may be time to take a pause from the connection and just focus on yourself. So I want to get into some messages. Just give me one moment to find my deck. Where did I put you? Okay, I know I have it around here somewhere. Ah, okay, I found it. So, another thing I'm seeing now with this winter card coming up, um, and like I said earlier in the beginning of the reading, winter is all about a time of resting and taking care of oneself. So, I'm definitely seeing this theme with, uh, with this connection where it's time to, maybe time to take a pause and really just focus focus on yourself so what does your person want you to know what message do they have for you I also created this cute little deck here love messages okay so what does your person want you to know and yes I may <laughs> at some point if I'm going to make the other available for purchase I will also make this available for purchase so are you able to forgive me just popped out so this may be related to the impatience you were feeling um, in the beginning um, they want to they want to know if you are able to forgive them it could be they have taken a lot of time to really focus on themselves so this may have caused you some hurt and resentments and you may be feeling that impatience so I'm seeing this as it's not personal and they didn't mean to hurt you okay let's get a couple more I'm sorry I lied to you. Hmm. Okay. So it could have been here. Maybe somebody said they were ready. And they weren't. They weren't ready. So. Your person may not have been fully honest with something in this connection. And now they're asking. If you're able to forgive them. So let's get one last message. I know by the time I figure this out, you may not be available. Hmm. So yeah, somebody here, your person, uh, may be wanting to take a pause here and work on filling up their own cup and work on them, working on themselves and their own journey. And they know that you're not going to wait around for them. And we should never wait around for anybody. We should focus on ourselves. And when things, if things are meant to be, they will be. When it's time to come back together, if it's time to come back together and reconnect with this person, it will happen. So anyways, this is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you guys 
in the next one. Take care.